Wisconsin and Whitewater. This session is entitled The Ten Commandments of Facebook. Ten Commandments of Facebook. That's right. You may want to write this down. All right, the Ten Commandments of Facebook was a program that was brought about as an administrator. I know very promising students who do some really stupid things on their profiles. We're talking bad pictures, bad status messages, tagged, and things that don't have anything to do with them uh, that they don't seem to remove. So I came up with ten simple tips to help you use social media wisely. Number one, or we'll get to those in a second. Facebook, as we know, is a social networking service for college, high school, university, corporate nonprofit, and many other organizations. It has over 500 million members. 500 million members on Facebook. Facebook can be used to connect with family, friends, and colleagues. Oftentimes, employers look at your page for hiring decisions. So it is a social media outlet, but it can be used for hiring decisions in a professional area. Facebook is also very popular. Why is it popular? Facebook can apply it to anything. Anyone can use Facebook. Grandmas have Facebook pages now. People spend over 700 billion minutes per month on Facebook. So you want to talk about the popular social media. You want to talk about Facebook. They set the standard for it. So here's a few tips for you. Number one, thou shalt not post incriminating pictures. Pictures of underage drinking, texting while driving, pictures of sex, those are things you typically want to stay away from on your Facebook page, okay? Uh, good pictures are one like this. Uh, this person had a, a speaker that came to their town. They wanted to take a picture with that speaker and post it up with some of their friends or members of their council, and that was great. Now, this is a good picture to post on Facebook. Everything is cool. Everything is live. This next one is not so good. So it's not exactly over the edge, but it is over the line. Now, we don't know if these ladies are underage or not, but what we do know is that they're drinking. And that's not exactly what the, the image that you want for yourself when employers look at your Facebook page. They don't want to see this. And this is, uh, it, it, there's nothing wrong with having a good time, but it, it was something's wrong when you post it for all to see. Uh, number two, thou shalt post it appropriate statuses. A status that's appropriate is Rick is enjoying life and love. It's corny, but I'm a corny guy. I am enjoying life and love. Um, an inappropriate status is something about your job or your boss. You may not want to post that, especially considering the higher consi uh, considerations that may be made. Number three, use your real name. Think about the name you want to represent yourself. It's cool to have funny middle names, or some people change the entire name, but at some point or another, you're going to have to use your real name in order to move forward in your professional career. So it's okay to be yourself. Number four, Check your page before you, uh, before you request or accept a friend. It's okay to decline. I used to accept everyone, but eventually I wanted to start to live more of a private life, and so, um, quite frankly, I just didn't want some of the people who requested me as my friends. So it's okay to decline. Number five, untag yourself if needed. Not every photo is appropriate for all to see. Pictures to untag are pictures of alcohol, pictures of sexual acts or toys. It may sound funny, but I've been tagged in pictures like this before, so untag yourself if needed. People, um, uh, protect your wall. Number six, closely monitor your wall posts and comments and be careful of your own postings. Now, not every joke is funny to everyone. So make sure that if someone posts something, for example, someone said on my wall, that's so gay. And I work with a few LGBTQ students, so I had to erase that. So closely monitor, monitor your wall. Number seven, keep up with your friends and family. Facebook is a medium that, you, that can keep up with you and those distant cousins you don't talk with every day. It may not be important to you, but it may be important to them. So make sure that you keep up with friends and family on Facebook because it is a way to keep up with them without talking to them every day. Use Facebook to network with potential employers. This is a good one. Great friends to have are companies. Great friends to have are those executives. One day you want to be in their position. So it's okay to pick their brain. Send them a message. Tell them, hey, listen, I want to get into your field. Can you help me? Facebook is a great way to use or great medium to use for that. Number nine, use Facebook to let your voice be heard. Facebook is a powerful social medium. So you can use it to make sure that you're speaking out on certain issues. Be appropriate, of course, but be clear in, in whatever issues you have and use Facebook to help you do that. Finally, number 10, remember, someone is always watching. Be careful, have fun, and always remember the future. Facebook, when you post it, it's not going anywhere. It's there forever. Somebody's going to find it at one point, even if you do untag yourself. So make sure that you're having fun, but think of how those pictures are going to affect you in the future. Now, what about a world without Facebook? Could there be a world without Facebook? Can we succeed as a community without a social media? Is it a threat to communication? Is it a threat to how you and I communicate or talk on a daily basis? How can we have a life without Facebook? Social media uh, killed the TV. Social media killed the TV star, like video killed the radio star. What about the news? Traditional advertising and perception versus reality. Is social media helping or hurting these things? Make sure you're thinking about how your profile plays a part and how social media plays a part in the world around us.
Facebook and Greek life. Don't rely on Facebook to fully promote your events. If you get 20 people that say they're going to come, five people are going to show up. All right. Use Facebook to promote a positive image in the Greek community. Get rid of the animal house perception. Facebook can help you do that. Finally, Facebook has as much power as you give it. This is what I tell everyone. If you want to spend 30 minutes on Facebook, you can. If you want to spend three minutes on Facebook, you can. But you have the power over the social media. Don't let it overtake you. Thank you.